Hi, this is Yuri Bogler, COO of Project Pals. Today I'm going to walk you through a quick video showcasing our recently upgraded events content creation tool. Events are used in Project Pals to represent verbs, things that happened, processes, action items, historical events. We recently upgraded our event content creation tool to bring history to life in a visual and interactive way. You can now add timestamps to each step of an event like you see here. You can also add a location to each step. And when you do that, uh, it'll actually take each step of the event and add it as a marker in a custom interactive Google Map. Um, so here's a sample event that details the places I've lived. I was born in Nairobi, Kenya, lived there for only a year, moved to Israel for a couple months en route to Orlando as my family immigrated out to the United States. We lived in Orlando for a brief two years, then two years in Dallas until I was five years old and we pretty much settled for good in San Fernando, San Fernando Valley suburb just outside of Los Angeles. Um, went to school in Santa Cruz, go banana slugs, moved back down to downtown LA where I started my career in live events marketing. Uh, also met my wife, my, soon, my future wife in Los Angeles. We ended up moving to Austin, Texas four years ago uh, for a job opportunity. And uh, since then, we've really settled in here. Uh, we, have, we have a six-month-old son and you know, really love Austin. So uh, while you can see that this was a personal story that I used the event um, tool to tell, this could really be a powerful tool for any social studies and ELA project or any project where time and location matter. Uh, now I'll show you really briefly how to create an event. Super easy. Um, just open up the event uh, knowledge library over here. You'll notice that the Places I Lived event and all of its steps are saved for you in your knowledge library. To create a new event, I would just click on the plus add button. It opens up this box, this window. Name the event. I'll call this one Places I Lived version 2. Then add an image. Adding an image in Project Pal is really easy. I'm going to search for a globe image using Google Image Search. I'm going to make sure that I'm only looking for um, images that have been labeled for reuse. This is a good one over here. Copy the image address. Go back to Project Pals. Paste that image address. Hit upload. And there we go. I got my globe image. Now it's about adding my first step, which in this case is going to be Nairobi, Kenya. Hit save and boom, I've got my location. That easy to add a location on a map. 1984 was the year. It's, it's an open text field for the date, so I can, I can add that OK. Add text over here describing the steps. So I was born in Nairobi, Kenya. And then add an image to represent Nairobi, which I'm just going to go do a quick image search for. And this looks like a good image of nighttime Nairobi. Look at all those lights. Paste it. And I've got my image as well. I can also add tags if it's helpful, like Africa or Kenya. Hit create. And I've got my second event, my second version, already in process here now uh, in the workspace. I can then edit that item if I wanted to. Hit next. Hit add step. And then add the second step in this particular event. Um, so hope you uh, found this video helpful. Uh, we think this is a really simple and effective way to bring history to life. Uh, if you have a Project Pals account, please uh, test out the new map feature. If you don't have an account with Project Pals, visit projectpals.com, schedule a demo, and we'll set you up. Thanks a lot.